Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Y'all, it's a fine Monday morning around here on the 41.36. Yeah. It's got the, the beautiful weather going on. It's uh, very overcasty. And yes, we're meteorologists, all right? But we've got a lot of rain on the forecast today, as well as throughout this entire week. There's like a huge storm coming our way. Yep. So it's going to be, it's going to be nice. Yeah. You know, I've been, uh, been sort of looking forward to a nice rainy week, to yeah. be quite honest. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been a long time of coming. It's been super dry and everybody out there, I feel at least in this area is like, give us some rain, please. please. <laughs> we were down at the pond, you know, last time we were doing real talk, um, doing the, the water purifier, the, no. the Ita Hill. And um, we were noticing like how low the pond was, you know, and that's because it's been so dry. It had, that pond is filled up with just rainwater. So it's like the water has been receding and receding and receding. Yeah. And it has not stopped receding because we haven't really gotten any water. <laughs> yeah. So. So come on. Come on, Sky. Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. Hopefully we'll get like about four four to six inches in this rainstorm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping too, because it's a several day. Several days, hopefully yeah. not in one day. No, that's no. in one day, man. That's gonna, gonna be bad. a lot. Yeah, that's gonna be flooding. But uh, hopefully it will be stretched out, you know? So yeah. I think today is calling for a little over a quarter of an inch. And then like tomorrow it's only like nothing. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is good the, day. <laughs> the one good day out of uh, the week as far as weather-wise. So we're gonna be kind of ducking and dodging and playing hopscotch and trying to figure out exactly um, how we're going to proceed forward with our build and all of the all of the things that we have going on around here. Yep. We got a plan. We do. We definitely have a plan. There's always a plan. Always. <laughs> There's always a plan. However, who knows how that plan is going to be. Yeah. And how it's going to go. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, rain definitely dictates a lot of uh, what's what. Yeah. And... I'm hoping that it actually rains and it's not like the, you know, a few weeks ago when it was like, oh, it's going to rain all week and then not a drop. Yeah, I lied. Literally not a drop. And we were like, what the heck? Hey, man? on the bright like, side, like, at least we had a really nice overcasty week. Yeah, we did a lot know? that we week. We did a lot that week. And if, so, if this week ends up being like that, then it ends up being like that. Um, you know, we'll be outside working around the homestead, getting as much done as possible. But we're just, you know, we're going to be kind of feeling it out, seeing what's going on. There might be some, run! <laughs> run, run! Bring everything back in the house! Quick. There might be some moments like that, yeah. but we'll see. But I've got I've got some good plans for today. Yeah. And I know you've got some good plans to edit out some videos for everybody. Yep. Because it's supposed to be a rainy day today. Yeah. So I'm gonna see what I can do outside. I know there's some domestic things that I need to do, you know, gotta change our water filters. Yes, we please. still have no sand filter yet in it so it's eating those filters up real quick i was hoping to be able to be like sand filters in let me put some new ones but it is what it is all the people want to know when gary what's the status of the sand filter what's going on with that well what happened with that it's it's still there i mean <laughs> it's still exactly the same way that we left it um yeah. i've been talking actually uh over the weekend we had uh Wiley and Jen come out and everything else like that. And uh, we were talking and I think I'm going to have Wiley come out and help me out with that because he does know quite a bit of uh, with sand filters and I have no idea. Yeah. So he knows more about it. He's, he doesn't know like everything on it, but he knows way more than I do. Yeah, he's worked so. on them before <laughs> here and there, right? <laughs> with that concept, I'm like, okay, I'm going to pick your brain. I'll have you help me out with this because yeah, I have... I have no idea. And there's not a whole lot of resources online about them. Yeah. So. So at this point, we're kind of like, we uh, we have resolved that we're definitely going to be DIYing it. Getting um, it done the way that I can find online and see. He's going to try to do some research for me as well. And, uh, yeah, we're going to. Com combine the brains. Yeah. And we'll, get, we'll get her done. Cause we're hoping to get that done here pretty quickly though. So we actually are probably going to reach out to him like later on today yep. when they, when it gets a little, we're not trying to call him at the butt crack of no. dawn. It's still really early right now. Um, I still, we still have 
to plan out everything else. We do have a lot <laughs> planned for this week. Yeah, so. but we need to order. So what we're going to talk to him about later on today is like the thing that we need to order. We know we need to order like a shallow well pump yep. and um, possibly like another tank. The rest of it is all just PVC. Yep. So that's no problem at all. But it's just, it's all the connecting points from this to 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 this. Yeah. If anybody out there that has ever... <laughs> dip their hand into plumbing they know that there's a thousand different pieces and fittings for one thing and if you don't know those fittings it's sort of a nightmare to try to find <laughs> out what fitting goes with what and where and how and what the heck this is the same diameter but the thread count is different yeah what the ah uh, you know and mm -hmm. it's one of those frassum, 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 grr, frassum, grr. Grr. <laughs> and then you get the one thing and you're like oh this should fit together and then you're like wait a minute that doesn't fit together. Why doesn't it fit together? Yeah. yeah, it's trying to put like a square peg in a round hole sometimes. Oh, that's where I like, I know I, I irritate the hardware store people sometimes because I'll sit there in the hardware store and piece together the whole thing. This is partly why every time that we go shopping, like it takes us a lot longer. Pulling things out of a package and I'm like, don't worry, all right, and I'll put it back. Yeah. Just like trying to piece it all together as best as I can and be like, all right, it all fits, <laughs> it all together, I need all this. <laughs> when we were doing the plumbing and stuff for the basement oh in here, goodness, I, man. why not, Gary had like the whole aisle stretched out with exactly how much feet and elbows and everything, and people were like shopping with their little buggy, walking down the cart, and they're looking down the aisle, they're like, what the heck is going on over here? Gary's sitting there pulling out his beard, you know, grabbing this elbow, That's grabbing that elbow, putting all the pieces together. He's like, I got it. I got it. And then he took it all apart, put it in the cart. We bought it, you know, yeah. but he does do that. He'll take like all the pieces off the shelf and like make sure before we... I have all the pieces, right? Because yeah. it's like with that, even like I went and I downloaded an actual PDF form that broke down exactly all of the fittings for regular plumbing in your house and everything else like that and that saved me a heck of a heck of a time of trying to be able to figure out what's what but the problem is is that there's like so many different fittings to everything that it's like okay i think i need like three of them and then when you go to lay it out and you go put it together you're like crap i'm short by one <laughs> so i found that it's better for me to lay it out like that and be like okay i have it exactly there is no ifs, ands, or buts. Everything is fitting together. You know, I just need this piece and this, like, I need to cut up the three by three pipe or whatever it is, right? Yeah, yeah. To make it fit, so. He's also yeah. been known to buy like extras, like an extra piece here and there in case when he's like gluing it and screwing it and tighten it, they crack. Yep. You know, because yep. that sucks with PVC too. Sometimes that that'll, that'll crack and then Had you're like, that happen. I was a little irritated, get everything all situated for our waters. And then it's like, all right, turn it on. <laughs> oh crap, turn it off. It's the one fitting I don't have. Dang it. All right, I'm gonna go buy 10 of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, especially when they're like a dollar, you know, they're a little more pricey now, but back then they were, they were quite- They were like 35 uh, cents yeah, or whatever. Cheaper, so I'd be like, cheaper. all right, yeah, I'm gonna buy a few more yeah. than I need. But yeah, no, now it's like, man, what the heck? Yeah. But hey, it's coming, it's, come super handy with my little hoarding aspect because I can't tell you how many times that my little hoarding aspects to plumbing stashes and like wiring stashes and like little things right has literally helped out so much on the homestead because oh, yeah, it does it I don't have to leave it's, it's always like, oh, great it. to have like a boneyard <laughs> of sorts you know of little odds and ends and I don't mind as long as Gary has it over there in yeah. like the storage tent over there in his shed or his little garage, right? And it doesn't need to be all over the surfaces in the house. Like every tabletop, every surface, every flat surface, Gary puts stuff down in it. And so That's like, good. I don't mind if he has his little hordes as long as it's over there see, and I not have, all over every see, surface. Cause he's a clutter stand, bug, bad. I can't help it when it's like, I, I need to grab these things the next day, you know, mm -hmm. and like my nightstand. Per se, for instance, it's like okay, I'm gonna the just put them, day. put them down, and then the next day, I two do something years else, later, and then I forget that they're there, and then I just keep adding to that pile. That yeah. Anyway, anyway, all right, it's, it's mine, all good. Right, it's all good. Whatever. But yeah, no, it's it's been it's gonna be really really 
Good time though. I got to figure out all that stuff. Though. Yeah, we're gonna we are gonna take uh, so much this time since it is gonna be a rainy week. We have we did get to visit, like Gary said, with Jen and Wiley this weekend. Um, let the kids Julia play with uh, their oldest Emily. Julia and Emily are good friends, and so yeah. they got to hang out for a while. We got to visit with them and. Like we said, pick their brain a little bit, you know, and um, come up with kind of some ideas. And Wiley, like, jumped right in right away. He he actually was the one that brought it up. He's all, so what's going on with that sand filter? We're all, uh, it's sitting there. It's, it's still there. Still there. And he's like, all right, well, I think it's about time we take it amongst ourselves and we finish this thing. And we're like, all right, yeah, let's get it, Wiley. So he, like, jumped in right away. So thank you, Jen and Wiley. Thank you. Thank you. Our mountain That's home. That's Working with awesome. Wiley. Um, I'm going to put their channel links down in the description below if you guys missed them for somehow. But they're good friends of ours. But yes. anyway, Wiley's going to help out big time with that. And hopefully within the next week or two-ish, we'll be able to uh, have that set up. Because, yeah, the water out here is not good. Now, however, um, on a few videos back, like when we were doing the footers and stuff for Camp Life, uh, over there when we were working with Mike and we showed you guys the well water over there how orange it was coming out of the hose that that's, is that's a fact but that's not how orange it comes out of the taps in our house no well that's, that, that's that because well, it like settled that you know well I mean? hasn't been used in a very long time yeah so with wells if you don't use them it's a lot of sediment ends up building up over time mm -hmm. in the pipes and everything else like that and that's where I was like, well, let me run this for a bit before we even start using it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's no, just water for the just water. footers. But, but it but did I, end up clearing up quite a bit it afterwards. Did. It know, did. But, but our house water isn't that bad. No. And like the water down at the animal areas and stuff like that, it's not that bad. No. However, um, if you just fill up a jug of water and you let it sit for an hour or two, there will be sediment on the bottom and it's the orange rust. And I do have the issue in the toilets, in the shower, in the sink, in the laundry room, and uh, anywhere that we get water inside the house, there is that, it does stain an orange. No. And, um, and all the water that are in, that's in the house is even going through a the filter system. Yeah. So. And it's just not, it's just not strong enough filter. No. However, if we were changing it weekly, then it probably would be. But you know how expensive. That would just be very expensive. Those so we, filters are. <laughs> if we were able to actually follow their suggested, you know, like replacement time, then it would be more affordable. Right. But because we're having to change them minimum once a month to realistically, we should be doing it like once a week that's what makes it really pricey and there's just no way that we can do it every week or even every month it's just it's just too much no so it's a it's a definite uh thing that we've been looking at which yeah. is why we have the sand filter over here yeah which is why we're trying to make moves towards <laughs> the sand to. filter <laughs> but it'll happen <laughs> it'll happen we're gonna get all of our duckies in a row um very very soon yes. when soon, soon. Have, that's like on one of our top uh, forefront of our mind because also excuse me as you guys know winter is coming and um, we're doing the sand filter we're gonna have to also bury it but then we're gonna have to build like another little pump house onto it for winter so that way you know it doesn't get frozen or anything and yeah so yep. we're gonna have to make sure that that area is ready for winter as well correct yeah. so it's gonna be a lot of uh a lot of back and forth here and there, but it should should go by pretty quickly and pretty smoothly, I feel like. It shouldn't be too crazy. Mm -mm. It shouldn't be too nuts. We do have plans to uh, go get uh, the materials that we need for the mudroom. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need some windows, doors, uh, some wood so we can build the walls and the roof. And Yeah, we were talking like earlier last week about maybe going and buying all that stuff this weekend. But instead, we decided to do a family day yep. um, with the kiddos instead of more shopping and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. We needed a little bit of a break. Uh, it was kind of a heavy week last week. Last week we were going, 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 man. Yeah, and it was like an emotional roller coaster, lots of ups and downs, you know, with everything that's going on. And we needed the weekend to kind of like regel with the family. Yeah. And so, actually, funny story, real quick, skeet skirt squirrel. Um, we took the kids out to like a family fun center yeah. where they had laser tag and they had like these bumper boats and they had um, uh, the mini cart 
go karts. Yeah. The go karts and then mini golf and an arcade and everything. And we were out there. We had so much fun with the kids, man. Um, it was out in Hot Springs. I don't remember the name of the place. Well, I but it was Fun Tracker or something like that. Something like that. But it was a lot of fun. We had a great time with the kiddos. Um, got to take them out to uh, dinner afterwards. But while we were there at the uh, go-kart place, we actually ran into one of our awesome subscribers. So yep. if you're watching, hey. How's it going? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, that was pretty cool. I yeah. was... Uh, not not expecting it. Not expecting it. <laughs> no. I was like, whoa. Yeah. But that's that was pretty cool. Was it was pretty a great impressive. weekend. That was a that was a really really good weekend. Yeah. We uh, the kids had a blast being able to you know drive the go karts around and do do all that and then uh, you know the Even, laser tag. I was going to say the laser tag was so much fun. Me and Gary were like a bunch of kids again with our kids. We're hiding around, ducking and dodging and. It was a it was lot fun. of fun. We needed that time together. And uh, so, yeah, so we didn't go build, buy all the building materials, um, the windows and the, all the lumber and everything. We are going to do that this week. We decided family time was, was a little higher on the priority list than uh, yep. just shopping for more stuff <laughs> for the build. But it, it, was, uh, it was a good time, though, man. It was, it was super, super fun. Yeah. We have uh, we've got a lot planned for this week, though, even though it's supposed to be rainy and everything else like that. Like we have uh, some plans for Wednesday and we've got some other plans going on this week, like tomorrow for our sunny day. And we've got, we got a lot of stuff in the agenda. I don't want to spill too many beans. Yeah, you guys are just going to have to wait and but. see on some upcoming videos. I've got my work cut out for me <clears throat> um, today as far as doing a lot of the editing. I don't see any rain right now. I know it rained last night and then today it's like 70% chance and it's going to be a pretty good amount too. So I know it's coming. The skies are pretty dark. It's supposed to hit us really closer to like 12-1. Mm. So go get all the outside we'll stuff done before. Yeah, We'll see what happens exactly yeah. when and where and how and what but today should be a good day yeah today should be a really good day and um if i'm capable to i am going to do my best and get one of these videos that i have in the can edited out and posted for you guys on simple life today i'm going to do my best um and i have so much stuff in the can guys i'm going to be able to do the trickle for you guys all week long it's just been one of those things where um when am i going to find the editing time and that's actually a very good position to be in um, for me, from my perspective, I'd rather have like stuff in the can ready to go than like feeling the, ah, oh, we gotta, gotta go make the content. I like having the content in the can. It's nice. Mm -hmm. So we're going to spend today going and doing all that stuff, making our list, checking it twice. Um, we're going to get all the things together. So that way I think maybe tomorrow, I don't know, we might be in a different location. <laughs> we might be, might, in a, be. might be in a different location for real talk. We'll uh, definitely see tomorrow then. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us for uh, this morning's ramble, um, this morning's hangout. We appreciate you guys. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day today. Stay dry, stay productive, stay safe. And um, until the next one, friends, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.